how to add stripe payment details to notion database automatically so the idea here is as soon as the payment is done by customer via stripe payment gateway we are going to automatically add the payment details inside notion application and i am going to do that by integrating stripe and notion with the help of an automation software so if you also want to record all your stripe payments into the notion application come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step so this is my stripes payment gateway dashboard and here i have created several products and assume that i want that whenever someone is going to make a payment for this php course for beginners the detail of that payment should be collected inside notion okay here you can see i have created a page with the name all payment details and here i am going to collect the name the email and the amount done by the customer okay and to create this automation i'll have to connect these application and i am going to do that with the help of Pab connect it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect i will also attach this link into my description box now if you are a new user of pabli connect you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free task every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation well i am already an existing user of pabli connect so that is why firstly i have clicked on sign in and i have chosen pabli connect access now and this is how i have reached to the dashboard of pabli connect and after reaching here the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and simply provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i'm providing the name as collect stripe okay let me correct the spelling collect stripe payment details in notion automatically okay you can provide any random name simply click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application okay in this case we are going to connect what stripe and gmail but according to our use case whenever any payment is happening into stripe payment gateway application automatically add the details in notion application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here i am building an automation in between stripe and notion so that is why i am going to search i'm going to select these application well i am going to complete the setup of notion later firstly let me do the setup of stripe okay and here i will select the trigger event as new charge okay because i want whenever the payment is made by customer basically whenever a new charge is succeeded okay this automation should trigger just in case if you want to select any other trigger event as per your choice you can also go you can also select that specific trigger event and create automation for you okay so i have selected it now the idea here is we are going to connect the stripe with the pabli connect so that we can capture the new charge detail inside pabli connect and then we are going to send the same details to different application or to the notion application okay and how you can connect connected well the instruction for the same are already given so firstly you'll have to copy this workbook url go back to your stripes payment gateway dashboard and currently i am working in the test mode okay i'm just telling you okay here you will find the option of developers then you will find the option of webbooks at the left hand side simply click on this add endpoint and provide the url the webbook url which you have just received via pabli connect and here into this trigger event basically into this event and you will have to select the same event okay so i have selected charge new charge into pabli connects dashboard so i am going to search for the same okay charge succeeded where is that charge succeeded all right here you can see charge succeeded i'll click on this add event button first and then i will click on this final add endpoint button and this is how the webhook url will be saved inside stripes gateway and it is actually waiting for the webhook waiting for the response and when i'll come back to pabli connect it is also waiting for the webhook response which means it is saying log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook 
response so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means making of a new charge okay so what i am going to do is i am going to make a dummy payment right in front of you and you will see how the same details the payment details will be captured via public connect all right so this is my uh, stripes gateway dashboard okay i have clicked on this product section and i have created this product with the name uh, php course by by beginners okay for beginners okay and firstly i am going to open the payment link of the very same product well it has multiple payment links don't worry i am going to open a single payment link only and using the test card details of the stripe okay this is my checkout page let me open that okay th this is the checkout page and using the test card details of stripe i am going to use the i'm going to make our dummy payment okay so this is the stripe documentation and from here you can also get the testing card details okay let me show you where are the card details all right here you can see i'm going to use this first data okay so i have copied the card details asking for the email address so assume that admin at the rate pablitudes.com is the email address of the person who is making a payment here i'm going to paste the same card information you can provide any random cvv and random expiry date okay so i have provided the same and assume that dummy customer is the first name and the last name of the person okay so i have also added the details uh, basically i have also provided the name of the person finally i'll be clicking on subscribe and you will see the payment will be done okay i'll have to wait for that and here you can see thanks for subscribing we have made the payment of this 499 rupees okay uh, the currency here is inr okay coming back to pabli connect and you will see the magic the same details basically the response is received and you will find the same details same payment details here also you can see here the status is succeeded we have the payment status as succeeded okay we, here we have that the method of the payment was card okay let me also show you another detail other details okay so where are the name of the customer and the email address i'll have to okay here we have the name of the person the email address of the person and where is the amount the payment amount here you can see the payment about now you must be thinking that we have made the payment for this 4999 only then from where these extra two zeros has arrived so basically it has ignored that decimal value and the, uh, in, it has captured the data into the jsn format don't worry we can uh, we can trim these extra two zeros with the help of pabli connect only okay so here the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation in between pabli connect and stripe is working absolutely fine okay so now what will happen every time someone is going to make any payment inside your basically via your stripe payment gateway the payment details will be first captured via pabli connect that too instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so firstly it will capture the payment details inside public connect in real time and then we are going to collect all these details into the notion but before that i will have to i will show you that how you can trim these extra two zeros well it is very easy either you can click on this plus icon and you can do the same within the public connect only and how you can do that simply search for the number formatter here okay and number formatter is an amazing feature of public connect via which you can perform various kinds of amazing operation inside your numbers currently i'll go with this perform math operation okay simply click on connect and it will be connected immediately and the very first thing it is asking for the numbers okay enter comma separated values to perform the operation okay so i would like to perform the operation in between the above number and in between the 100 because i want to remove those extra two zeros for that i am going to divide 100 in that number okay and i don't even need to copy this data data and paste it here i am going to map it and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down simply search for that data okay so here i have provided the first number and here i have provided the second number also basically i want to perform the math operation in between these two numbers and the operation should be of the divide clicking on save and send test request and you will see the magic that it will automatically divide this number by 100 and you will get the actual amount okay so this is how now onwards what will happen every time the number the amount will be captured with, with this extra two zeros firstly this automation is going to trim going
going to divide those extra two zeros this is how it will get the actual value and this is how now you can send this actual value to the notion okay and in the action event here i am going to select this create database item okay and just like we have connected stripe with pabli connect now we are also going to connect notion with pabli connect for which you will have to select add a new connection click on connect with notion and from here you will have to directly provide the access of your pages okay so here you can see select pages button simply select that and make sure that your page should be the access okay it should be ticked mark here okay and i have created a page with the name all payment details only so it is ticked mark click on allow access and this is how the authorization will be successful and your notion application will be also connected with a public connect okay and here whatever the databases are available inside my notion application let me even show you have started visible here okay so these were the pages the databases which i have created and all of them are visible here since we are connected and i am going to search for this all payment details well it is at the top only and as soon as you are going to select the database the below columns will be refreshed will be changed automatically with respect to your database item okay so currently i have this name email and amount inside my page inside my database item so here you can see the amount the email and the name the same fees the same columns are visible here well this is the default value okay so now i am going to provide the details and how i am i can map the data i have just told you simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down and instead of mapping the amount from this particular step i am going to map the amount from this second step okay asking for the email address let me search it with the help of at the rate all right so i have mapped the email address as well lastly it is asking for the name of the person all right so let me map the name also okay and you must be thinking that what is this mapping all about which i am repeating again and again okay so if you will provide any detail manually that detail will be remain will be fixed but if you are going to provide any details uh, with the help of mapping the detail will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so what will happen firstly the payment will be made by a customer here and then pabli connect will capture that payment details here inside pabli connect and then firstly the amount will be trimmed and then that new payment details will replace these existing values whatever i have mapped okay so this is the power of mapping and this is the power of map automation okay i'll be clicking on the save and send test request button in front of you and you will see how the details will be captured via pabli connect but before that i am going to delete this existing entry all right so i have deleted the entry and here you can see there are no new row coming back to pabli connect clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see how the details will be captured all right and here you can see the response is received coming back to my notion application and i'll have to wait for that response to be added or i can also refresh no refresh is not required the name has been added the email has been added even the amount has been added and now onwards every time someone is going to make a payment via any payment link inside your stripe payment gateway dashboard the details will be automatically collected into the notion this is how you can capture all the details here without doing anything manually and if you want to create this automation you can create it inside pabli connect and to create this automation basically you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that sit back and relax simply close pabli connect because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this workflow this automation inside your account i will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into my description box okay by clicking on this particular link and signing up into the pabli connect the same workflow will be cloned into your pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video